to all my creatives what is up it is me pretty crafty and i am back with another video that i am doing today and if you hear something in the back i do apologize my daughter is in her little virtual world um okay so first i want to start off by saying thank you for all my new subs all my new creators please continue to hit that subscribe button as you can see i am growing and i am loving it so i promise to post more videos so today what we are going to be making is an acrylic sign which is pretty simple and fun to make i just if you could see, I get my acrylic signs from Hobby Lobby. They come in all sizes. This is $2.99. I don't know ex exact size this is, but it works for the order that I got. And I got this easel from Five Below for her to put it on. It's actually for a dinner party that i'm making a couple of items for so i'm going to be uploading a couple of videos so thank you for everybody who's tuning in and watching me and again thank you for subscribing to my channel i love all you guys if you want to see me create something or want to learn how to make something in particular and more in depth please just drop a comment below on any of my videos i try to answer people back or just shoot me an email so what I'm gonna be using is the metallic rose gold pink, acrylic pink for $1.99 that I also got. It is folk art. It is rose gold from Hobby Lobby as well. And even though this is not rose gold foil flakes, I'm still going to be using this to add little touches in the two corners, top and bottom, to create a more of a elegant look. And also, I'm going to be using the, what do you call it? The Paper Craft Studio, the Paper Studio, uh, um, what is it? Vinyl sheets in white to put across here. So let's begin, let's get into it. Now, what I'm going to do, give me one second. You can see the light reflecting in here, please don't mind that so much, but the paint that I'm about to put down is going to block it. So I'm going to clean this real quick off with alcohol and then proceed with the video. So give me one second. Okay guys, I am back. So now that I have this all wiped down and clean, I'm going to take my paintbrush and preferably let me see, I'm going to use this one right here. And I got all these different kinds of paint brushes from Target for five bucks. Can't beat the price. All right, so let's start. So what I'm gonna do is shake this up really good. Open this right here, pour a big dab. And I'm just gonna start to create which to all my creators, I'm quite sure y'all came across many of these videos on TikTok, on Instagram, and on here. But I thought, hey, I'm creating it. Why not do a video? And I'm actually shipping this order tomorrow, you guys. So I'm gonna be up all night working in the studio. So you can add as much as you like to however I'm just getting quiet here because I'm getting in the groove but you can add as much as you like you could keep adding and applying layers until you are satisfied with the look I'm going to go more up right here and I'm going to let this dry and I will be back to add another coat. Okay guys, so I am back and I'm about to add another layer until I get the desired look that I'm going for. When this dry, I am going to come back. Wait, I don't want it to smudge. So. I think this will be the last layer 
that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back and add the flakes and also the wording for the sign. Okay, guys, so now that this is all dry, and I forgot to mention that you do want to use this type of brush. If you want to use this brush, you can, but I recommend using the sponge so you can have more of these, like, effects on the end so it don't look so polished you want it to look you know the way that it looks uneven okay the paintbrush will call would um make more even strokes uniformed you want it to sort of look messy okay so now that is all dry and it actually dries really quick i'm going to turn it over and I'm okay with the consistency of the paint and the three layers that I put. I believe I put three layers. Okay, so now I'm going to take her name. And I actually, guys, real quick, I don't ever use transfer tape. I always use the duct tape from Dollar Tree it goes on much easier for me i like it much better it's just an easier process i highly recommend this technique transfer tape man i never use it okay so i'm just going to position her name right here do i want it yeah i'm gonna put it right here press down remove I forgot to bring Brooke could you bring me my little black thing on the table so I could just make sure this stays down you see it mm-hmm yeah no it's a thing uh, um, it looks like a card it's square it looks like a card is a hard piece of plastic yes Thank you. Okay, my daughter's bringing it to me. I forgot it. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to make sure this sticks down. No bubbles. And remove. So now I'm going to take her last name. Let me reach over and do the same thing. Let me see. How do I want her last name? I think I'm going to put it. Hmm. Like this, maybe. Let me make sure this is straight. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this, hopefully. It looks right. We are about to see. I ripped it.
but you cannot tell. Peel it back nice and slow. My nails are so little, bear with me guys. If I get anything like an overlay or acrylic on my nails, forget about it. I can't work that way. Okay, and here it is. So for me to make this look more oomph, I'm going to take my Metal Leaf Adhesive by Craftsmart. I actually got this from Michaels. And I'm going to take, I actually want to, I'm going to take this to apply the gold leaves. And I'm going to put it in this top corner and then this bottom corner so the focus could be more on her name. Give it a little more oomph. Now I'm just going to take this like so and I'm gonna dab it to how far down I want it and like I said I didn't see any gold leaf in rose gold so I'm gonna pop it off with the gold and see how that works so here we go so when you do this I'm applying it a lot, but I'm going to brush it off so it could just look, you know, flaky. I need some more glue in these areas. Just do like so. Add a little more. And I'm going to do the corner <clears throat> before I brush that off I'm gonna let it dry a little just spread it out For her menu, I made a floating glass. I didn't make the floating glass. I purchased a floating glass to put her menu in and I did her menu using the foiling technique. Which I will show you guys. I did half of the video. I do have to decorate her frame so I may upload the video for you guys to see. Because I did do the recording. And the more content, the better, right? Okay. And I will set this up so you guys can see this in this whole entirety of how I'm going to set it up on the easel and everything. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a regular paintbrush. And I'm just going to take off the loose flakes. Do the same thing over here very gently. You don't have to do it too hard. The loose flakes will fall off. Okay, let me just clean this up. I do think I need to come down just a little more on this side to make it even. So let me see. I'm just going to do a little more right here. 
Let me do the dab. Okay. Now I feel better about it. This could be quite messy. Okay guys, and we are done with this. Let me show you and stand it up how it looks. And I will be showing you how it looks on the easel too. Comment below if you like it and also let me know if you created one of these before and shoot me an email or drop a comment below if you would like me to create anything and more in depth. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. To all my new creators, please don't forget to subscribe so you can learn and grow with me. Sorry. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy.